Hello, good evening. Good Hello, evening. everybody. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Fine. How is everything, everybody? Cool. No problem. How was the weekend? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Okay, good. How was your weekend, everybody? Pretty good. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Now we're going to get this started here. Okay, Carmen is here, Jose, Gloria, Stanley, Tatiana. And we have Oscar and Edith. Hey, teacher. Hi, Oscar. Hey, good evening. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to see you too. Hey, Thank you. Now it sounds better. The microphone is better. Uh, yes. Sometimes your microphone sounds very, very slow. But now it's okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. That's perfect. No, it's okay. Hello, Edith. Hi, teacher. How's your work? Very hard. Very hard. Okay, that's terrible. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hey, Alejandro, how are you? Fine, and you? All right. How was your day? It was fine. Okay, good. I, I had very hard work, but I'm okay. Okay, a lot of work. That's good. It's good to have work in these days. Yeah. And you, Carmina, always taking care of the garden. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello. Um, hello. Uh, I'm eating right now. My <laughs> <laughs> well, dinner. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's a buen provecho, right? Enjoy your dinner. Yes. Good. No, it's okay. Fine. No problem. No worries. Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Okay, fine. How was your day? Uh, very busy. Okay, that's good to be busy. And in the weekend? You did in the weekend? Was it the same? In my home. Okay, good. Resting. Relaxing. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, Tati. How are you, Tatiana? How are you, Okay, fine. Is everything okay? Very good. Okay. The weekend? Fine. Fine. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we have Gloria too is here. Yes. No problem, Gloria. Everything no, fine? teacher. Okay, good. Nice. Jose Hernandez, no problem, Jose? No problem, teacher. Okay, great to have you here. And Angel, Angel Santos. Okay. Nombre bien, nombre bien Angelical, ¿verdad? Angel y Santos. Right? Yes. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, no problem, Angel. No problem. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, people, let's get started then, because we have some material here to cover. We're going to go to this one first. Then this one, yes. Okay, so this one we finished, right? I'm going to play this uh, this conversation only for you to para calentar, right? To remember, and then we move to the other one, just for you to listen to some pronunciation, intonation, but 
then we move to the other one you can let me see yes here come share the sound hi to all welcome to section seven we had a great time in this session participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend this conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, so you see this is a conversation speaking about the weekend, right? And the things that people did or things that people didn't do, right? So, for example, this lady, uh, she said Saturday. that... Saturday. That sounds had like a, fun. She had a great time. Okay, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar in San. And then, uh, you say, how are you? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Okay, one person stay at home. And the other person, you know, she was having fun, you know, dancing, singing, and very nice weekend. Okay. Then in the next one, it says, this lesson, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs with, uh, will also be taught. Regular and irregular. Then we have. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple did you go anywhere last weekend? To make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers Positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Correct to say, did you went to the beach? 
Did he break the window? So simple past, you need to. Use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes. Yeah. For a test. Okay, this is the important part here, right? This is what we have to remember all the time. Uh, yes, no questions. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. If you see in the short answer, yes, I did. If we use long answer, I worked all day. We don't use did. We only put the verb in past tense. Okay? Negative, no, I didn't. But in this case, in the long answer, if the question, if the sentence is negative, then we're going to use didn't. I didn't work at all. Okay, so we use did in questions, in short answers, in short answers negative, and in long answers, okay, negative. We don't use it in the long answers or in the affirmative sentences, okay? So this is what you have to remember. And then the same case with did you go, if it is a, a information question, WH question, what did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed at home and studied for a test. Affirmative sentence, he stayed, not did. Home and studied in past tense, not did. How did Megan spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Okay, this is what you have to remember here. Okay, we're gonna do a little test to see if you remember those rules. There are 10 sentences here that we have to complete. Tatiana, could you please read the instructions here? Instructions. Complete this conversation question and answers. Answers. Ma ans sorry. Ma answers. Answers. Mm -hmm. Question and answers must be in si simple past. In simple past, correct. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna use. Questions and answers must be in simple past. Okay, here, for example, did you stay, stayed, or did stay? Which one is correct? The first one, did, the second, did stay. or the third the one? Third. The third. The third one, right? Because did and stay in the present, right? Okay, good. How about number two, Gloria? Gloria Aventaño, tell me the number two. Okay. Um, um, the two. Okay. I didn't come my friend with a drum, a coffee for lunch. Do, 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 do. Are you sure? Mm. Definite answer? Yes. $100? Ta-da! $200? Damn. Okay. It's third, teacher. It's number three. Third. Number three? Yeah. The fears. The fears. Uh, the auxiliary didn't call. Uh, Cuando es negativo, no cambia el verbo. Well, no. Uh, when we are the using this, if we are using this, do you call drop? The verb is dressed. So then, number one, okay? Because drop is in past tense. And in this one, is in present. 
And in the instruction says, questions and answers must be in simple past. Okay, so this one no, because the drive is in present. Draw is in past. And the correct form is didn't call. Because didn't in past and called in present. Didn't in past and called in past is not correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Number three. Uh, let's see who, Brenda. Go, go ahead. Yeah. The first. The first? No, no. This is your the third. The third one? Yes. This one? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Because we have did and spend, right? Spend is in present. This one does not it doesn't exist. Spend it doesn't exist. And spent is past and past. It's past present. Okay, Oscar, number four. Hey teacher, this is uh, I have enjoy uh, number three. Yeah, number three. No, okay, the third one. Ah, the third one. Uh, I have enjoy. Didn't like the noise. I have a party. I. Everyone enjoyed the party. And but the next, I like the noise. Like the noise. The number three? Yes. Sure. Five hundred dollars, Oscar. You lose. For quinientos dollars. Uh. Number three. For one hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Number three. Todos de acuerdo que el tres. Two. Two. Is number two. two. Number no, no. two. Second. The yes. second, right? I had past tense. I have. Everyone enjoyed past tense. Didn't past tense. Like. Didn't like. Didn't like the noise. Okay, the second one. Okay, Perfect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. No problem. No problem. That's what we are here for. Para eso estamos acá, right? Learning, learning. Don't worry. Uh, Daisy, how about the next one? Number five. Number five, teacher. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Daisy. Tell me number five. What is the correct? This one? This That's one? This? What do you... What you do didn't. What? Uh, number 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 three. This one. This what one. Yes. No. What do you know? Remember no. past tense. Past one. tense. Past tense of do. Um. What is the past tense of do? Uh, what did? Did. Did. Okay. So what did you? You? Uh -huh. Last night. Last night. Last okay. night. It's the first one. Okay. Okay. What did you do? Okay, teacher. You Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. Okay. Edit. <laughs> Edit. Number six. Okay. I. To next I. I I went okay. I went to the new Jim Carrey film I, I love. Uh -huh. Three then number that's three. That's fair when correct. Okay, very good. Okay. Alejandro, number seven. Okay. Uh, did you do anything special over the weekend? Did you do anything special? Over the weekend. Okay. Carmina. Number eight. Number eight. Yes. Um, la respuesta, yes. Did you do anything special over the weekend? 
is the the second. Ah, uh, no, 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 the first. The first. That's correct. I did. Yes, I did. I went. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Okay. okay. Thank you. Number nine, Jose. Jose Hernandez. Joe. It is juicing. Jose Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. Jose Hernandez. Okay. Did. Uh -huh, did go ahead. you? Yeah. Did you sing? Did you sing? Number two. Yes, the number two. Did you sing at the party? Okay. Okay. And the last but not least, Stanley. No, I didn't. I was sick. Okay, very good. No, I didn't. I was sick. Okay, people, let's check. Okay, you see? This is correct. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's say that this part, let's, uh, you have the idea, right? You have the idea how to use the past. Okay, in affirmative, in the negative, short answers. For example, here we have in the first one, and the one here. Okay, here we have a question. Number two, we have a, long answer in negative. And then we have also a long answer in affirmative. How long is a question? Here we have sentences in past tense. Two affirmative and one negative. Question in past tense. Then sentences in past tense. And then we have also here Yes, no questions in past tense. Short answer. Then we have an affirmative sentence. And then we also have another affirmative sentence. Then that is clear, right? Now what we need is you know, to, to produce our own English, our own sentence. As well, that means the practice. Okay, now comes the practice. This is the important part of this. Now we're going to submit it. And then we have the grade, right? 25 points out of 25 points. Then, uh, Edith, can you please read this, this objective here? Okay. Uh, In this session, but participants, participants? <laughs> Your eyes. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation using past simple. Pa pay attention for the time and pronunci pronunciation. Pronunciation, okay. Now you're going to listen a conversation using the past tense, okay? And this is, and pay attention for details and pronunciation, right? after you're going to create your own conversation. Listening. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. 
Then we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, listen again. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, now listen again and now check the answers. Who had a boring time? Who had a good time? Who met an old friend? And who got home late? Okay, listen and tell me the answers when we finish. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, who had a boring time? Who has the answer? John. Who? John. 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 Why did John. John have... Why did he have a good time? Uh, boring time. Why? Be because in the dinner, um, talk about uh, sports, uh -huh. and he he's boring from that. Uh huh. He hate. He, he, he hate. He hate. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're talking about football, right? And he hates that. Okay. Who had a good time? Who had a good time? Laura. Laura, right? Laura, Laura. had a good time, yes. Okay, good. Laura had a good time. Why did Laura had a good time? For the uh -huh. party party. Because she had a party, uh-huh. And what happened at the party? Oh. Her friends. Uh-huh. She met she met who? Who met an old friend? Oh, Laura. The school. Laura, Laura right? Hello. Laura no. met an old friend. Okay. And who got home late? John. John? <laughs> Both. 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 John, uh, about midnight? Uh, that's correct. 
Uh -huh. uh, John got home uh, around midnight and Laura very late, right? Too. So it's both. Two. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Mrs. Laura and John. Okay, this is how to get information from a listening, right? When you hear a conversation, you can extract or you can get some information. Okay, good. And we're going to have one more. Things to see here. Okay. Okay. So we have uh, so we have here. Now let's see. We have Okay, now we're going to do, uh, you're going to go to the groups, okay, and you're going to create your own conversation. Let me see, I will give you a picture. In this session, Simple Past. To learn verbs in Simple Past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. Okay, similar to this. Okay, in the WhatsApp group in this moment, I'm going to send you, um, okay, here. okay, in your telephone right now, you have the, the questions, these questions, okay, so that you can practice in the groups. With those questions, you're going to create your own conversation. You're going to invent a conversation, okay, using those questions. Okay, so let me see. Teacher. Yes. Can you put the picture again, please? It's, it's in your cell phone in this moment. Do you have it or, or do you need ah. to see? Yes. Please, go put the picture again, I sent, please. I, I sent it to the... To the to the WhatsApp group. I'm not in the WhatsApp group. You're not. I'm what? not. No. Por qué no está Who was? Who was? No se inscrito ahí. No, no me apareció en el link, en, en, el cor, en el, la el información correo. esta vez, no me apareció. Vaya. No, ajá, no lo tengo. Don't worry. Don't worry, ahorita la mandamos. Yes. Okay, in the chat right now. Okay. 
right now you have in the chat. Okay. Um, click on it and then you will take you to the, to the group. Okay, and... Ah, but you won't be able to see the, the chart. But for a moment, can you put the 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 picture in the yes right in now. the computer, and I take a picture. Yes, right now that's what I'm gonna do in this. Minute. Thank you. Okay. What is it? What is it here? Okay, can you see it? Yes. All right. Okay. It's ready. Ready. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. So here we have. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, here we go. And we have 10 people exactly. So we're going to have five groups in pairs. En pareja van a hacer una oración, una, una, una conversación corta usando esas preguntas. Just no question and the information questions, okay? Not too long. One, one minute, 30, 45 seconds to one minute. Okay? So okay. here we go. Okay. Uh, no, no hay problema. Este... It doesn't bite. 
no, no muerde, no muerde. <risa> no, este. <risa> ya se <ya>, ya, no, <risa> I see the sorry way uh, uh, my can and the can the um, the name the neighbor the, uh -huh, the neighbor oh yes really <laughs> that's nice okay so good alarm <laughs> ah yes it's a good alarm <laughs> this, uh, uh, what is the heavy question on the bus what is I uh, have a question is the parts and uh, time parts. The questions that I gave you in the group. The questions that you have in the in the WhatsApp group. Those okay. are the ones uh -huh, that you're going to practice. Uh, the... Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. You have in the group. Did you work on Saturday? Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. You, for example, hey Oscar, did you work on Sunday? Oh no, I didn't. What did you do? Uh, what did you? La pregunta que está a la derecha. What did you do on Sunday? Ah, I went to the movies. I visited my parents. Y luego la otra pregunta. Did you go anywhere on Saturday? And then he said, Yes, I did. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 And then you okay. 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 Good. Oscar. ¿Qué significa eso? Which one? ¿Cuál? Uh, how did Meg spend her weekend? ¿Qué? 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 ¿Cómo? ¿En qué gastó ella? ¿Cómo, cómo pasó ella el fin de semana? Ah. How did, for example, how did you spend your weekend? Eh, I stay in my house. I watch TV. I visited my family. I had a party. Okay. I learned a book. I read a book. Uh huh. I learned. I practice English with my uh, with my friends. Okay, things like that. Okay. So how did you spend? ¿Cómo la pasó en el fin de semana? Okay, but in, if you want to make a conversation, solo tienen que hacer las tres preguntas. The first one, en la que está arriba, did you work on Saturday? Did you work on Friday? Did you work on Sunday? And then you say, no, I didn't. Okay, and say, what did you do? What did you do on Saturday? Oh, I, I went to the supermarket. I, uh, after that, I went to... I went to, uh, let's say, to church, and then I went home and cook. That's some activities in past. The last one is: Did you go anywhere on Sunday? Did you go anywhere, uh, let's say, on Sunday afternoon? Oh yes, I went to I went to the park. I went to walk. You say uh around the park. Yeah. Con esas tres preguntas ya pueden hacer una buena conversación. Usando verbo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Go ahead. And then you take your your lunch at 1 p.m. Okay. And then you go to you went to to the Pollo Campero restaurant, right? Yeah. And then back home. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Pero si no aprendámonos bien eso, porque supongo que nos va a preguntar qué dijimos. Uh -huh. Van a hacer la conversación. Es a role play. Ajá. Uh -huh. La misma conversación que hay acá. En answer. Question. Okay. With three questions, it's sufficient, right? Ah, tres okay. preguntas. Uh -huh. Tres preguntas que haga alguien y el otro que la responda. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, no problem. Okay, very good. Okay. 
practice. Oh, okay. practice. Practice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Yes, I did. Yes, I didn't. I go to swim in a pool. I go to swim, swim in a pool. In a pool. La mamá es para mí. No se acerque porque ella se pone celosa. Ok, partners. Entonces. Hola. Yes. Okay, ready. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, yes teacher. Are okay. you ready? <laughs> okay, good. We'll be in the group in a minute, okay? Very okay, good. thank you, teacher. Thank you. Um, teacher, estamos haciendo una, solo quiero saber si está bien. Okay. Eh, did you eat pizza yesterday with your family? Mm -hmm. Y la respuesta, yes, I eat pizza I yesterday. Ate. I ate. ate. Mm -hmm. ate. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Sería ate, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y lo pronunciaría. Eight. Eight. Así pizza. como el número. Mm -hmm. Eight. Ah, ok. Eight pizza eh, yesterday with my family. Mm -hmm. Y negativa, no I didn't. Eh, eight pizza yesterday with my family. Yes. No I didn't. Sí, ¿verdad? No I didn't eat. Correcto. But, y okay. la... Remember that is a conversation, right? Entonces uno hace las tres preguntas y el otro puede hacer las respuestas. Pero ah. lo tienen que dar una, o afirmativa o negativa. Okay. Ah, ok. Y teníamos okay. otro ejemplo para mm -hmm. que veamos si lo hicimos bien. Ah, Ángel, okay. ¿cuáles eran las tuyas? Como para que el teacher nos revise. Bueno, él había dicho, Did you go in the park on Sunday? Did you go to the park? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, yes, I, yes eh, habíamos dicho, en este caso estábamos viendo que cambié el verbo. Uh -huh. eh, entonces sería, yes, I went in the park on Sunday. To the park. The, I went to the park. To the park. Ok, sí. To the park. Y uh -huh. la otra sería, no, I didn't go in the park on Sunday. No, I didn't go to the park on Sunday. Uh -huh. También están correctas. Sí, sí, están correctas. Oh, okay. Entonces, digo, o sea, una pregunta más y solo den una respuesta o afirmativa. O pueden, o si quieren practicar las dos, primero hace las mismas, las tres preguntas y uno las responde afirmativa. Usted le puede hacer otra vez las mismas preguntas y Ángel que las responda negativa. No problem. Oh, y así okay. practican más. Yes? Ok. No problem. Thank you. One more question and that's it. Ok. okay. Very good. Thank you. Se me ocurre, veamos, Ángel. Hi, teacher. Hello. Am I ready? Okay, good. 
So we're just waiting for two, three, six, nine, two more. Okay, here they are. This one is missing. Okay, so who's going to start? One volunteer, one pair who wants to begin the conversation. Volunteer, Daisy and Jose. Okie dokie, good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. okay Jose. Go ahead. Let's listen to your conversation. Hello, Jose. Hello, Daisy. Daisy, did you work on Saturday? No, no, um, no, I don't, no, no, no deal work Saturday. No, I, no, I didn't. No, I didn't work Saturday. My, my work is the, um, lunes? From Monday. Monday. From Monday? From Monday to uh, Friday. Okay, the next one. Jose? Yes. Next question. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Uh, yes, I did. I go to supermarket. Okay, Jose. Thank you. Thank you, only teacher. Only, okay, very good, that's nice. Okay, okay, the idea here, remember, is to uh, start producing your own language, your own sentences, okay? Probably uh, think slowly, because you need to, to think, okay, the verb, okay. like no problem. Okay, okay, that's the idea, that's the idea. Very good. Okay. Okay, who's the next? Uh, I don't know. Any other volunteer? Yes, yes. Okay, Gloria. Gloria and Angel, right? Correct. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, a ver. Hello, Angel. Uh, did you eat pizza yesterday with your family? Yes. I ate pizza with my family yesterday. Very good. Okay. Um, did you go in the past to the park? Uh, on Sunday? Yes, I, I went to in the park on Sunday. To the park. Mm -hmm. Okay. To the park on and, uh, I did a your room this morning. Uh, Did you run this morning? Like jogging, exercise? Did you, I, I did. I did. I did work in the morning. I did. I ran. I ran in the morning. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, if you see, for example, in this question, Gloria and Angel, Gloria is using did in the question. Did you eat? And Angel is answering with long answers with the verbs in past tense. To say, yes, I ate. Okay, so that, okay. Is, that is good because that's what we need. You see, you can switch. O sea, aprender a hacer ese switch de cuando uso el when y cuando uso el did go is very important in English, right? The question, did you eat? In the in the affirmative answer, yes, I ate. 
Okay. So if this is part of the practice. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Uh, thank you. Okay. Now, Brenda. Brenda, you were with Oscar, right? Yes. Okay. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, Brenda. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did and all day on Saturday. Okay. What do what do you do on Saturday? I work. I work uh, I all work? day mm -hmm. on Saturday. Did you go anywhere last weekend? No, I didn't go anywhere. Okay, excellent. Okay, that is similar. That is similar to to Gloria. But now you say, for example, did you go anywhere? Okay, question. And then Oscar uses the negative say, I didn't go anywhere. Exactamente bien, okay? That's the idea. Excellent. Thank okay. you very much. Good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, okay. Brenda. Now, let's see, uh, Carmina, you were with Stanley, right? Okay, go with Stanley. Yes. Hello, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. H Hello, Stanley. Oh. Hello. Uh, did you uh, work on Saturday? Uh, Yes, I work on Saturday. Okay. Did you go to the mall last weekend? Back home, Papa. Hello? Yes, sir. Did you go to the mall last weekend, Stanley? No, I didn't. I don't, I don't go, I didn't go. Okay, did you go to the beach? Did you go to the beach last, last weekend? Yes, I went to the beach. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Stanley, just finish the sentences. I mean, that's correct. The verbs are good. No, uh, yes, uh, let's say I didn't go to the mall. And did you go to the beach? Yes, I went to the beach. Oh, no, I didn't go to the beach. When you use the long answer. Pero el uso de los verbos es muy bien. Okay, thank you very much. Now, yes, yes, teacher. okay, no, thank you. Practice, practice. Yes. Uh, Edith, Edith, right? Edith and Tatiana. Edith, she was the last one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tatiana, did you did you study English on Sunday? No, I didn't. I I read a book. I I did read a book. Okay. Did you go? Uh, did you go anywhere last weekend? No, I didn't. I did go anywhere. And you? Did you go anywhere last weekend? Uh, no, I didn't. I did stay in my house. Okay. Um, okay, very good. Nice. Eh, okay, esto es algo más que usaron ellas, es de extender la conversación, right? Eso es algo que ya para más práctica se puede hacer y eso es lo que básicamente vamos a hacer mañana, extender las conversaciones. Vamos a ir practicando esto. Eh, did, en, por ejemplo, en en you. Eh, Tatiana dice, en you. you. Le regresó la pregunta y le dijo, ¿y tú? Did you go anywhere? And then he dice, no. And le dijo lo contrario, I stayed home. Now, ellas usaron en dos ocasiones, I did stay and I did go, I guess. Eh, es válido, pero digamos que la forma correcta es I stay. En las, en las oraciones afirmativas se usa stay. Eh, si usa el verbo el when. Se puede usar el did cuando se dice, por ejemplo, I did go. Cuando uno está como un poquito así queriendo ser en, enfático con algo. ¿sí? Por ejemplo, I did tell you yesterday. Te dije ayer. Right? 
So in that case, we can use a lead cell. The lead is cell en una oración afirmativa. Pero eso es solo para hacer énfasis, ¿ok? No es algo, eso lo van a ver mucho más adelante. ¿Ok? Y es solo para que en este momento ocupemos los verbos en presente y en pasado. ¿Ok? Me agradó mucho la práctica. Creo que se apegaron al, al libreto, como dicen. ¿Ok? Mañana vamos a hacer otro tipo de, de ejercicio como este, en el que inventen ustedes sus propias eh, eh, conversaciones y usando verbos en pasado. ¿Ok? Bueno, well, that's all for today, people. Go to rest, sleep, dream in English. <laughs> And see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? So, okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. 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 Okay, teacher. Bye-bye.